lively capital of Malaysia and a multicultural paradise where different nationalities and beliefs coexist. That's Kuala Lumpur. There is plenty to see and experience in this Southeast Asian mega city. So without further ado, we have for you the top 10 things to do in Kuala Lumpur, handpicked by the locals. First items on the list and the perfect introduction to Kuala Lumpur's culture are its beautiful temples. Let's start with the Sin Sia Si Ya Temple, the oldest Taoist temple in Kuala Lumpur. This tranquil place of worship in the middle of ever-bustling Chinatown is often visited by those seeking a place to pray and asking for a good fortune. The moment you enter this temple, you'll enjoy the beauty of decorated objects, carved panels and miniature sculptures. Truly a magical place. At the iconic meeting point of the Klang and Gombak rivers, you can find the Yamek Mosque, the oldest one in the city and a great example of Moorish architecture. Step inside to discover its true beauty. Did you know that at this location is where the name of Kuala Lumpur originated? Johan, our local friend, will tell us more about it. Kuala Lumpur basically means muddy confluent, the meeting place of two rivers. On your left, you have the Klang River. On the other side of the mosque, you have the Gombak River. And these two rivers meet just at the end of this mosque, where the name Kuala Lumpur comes from. Probably this next beauty might have caught your attention already. Welcome to Sri Mahamariyaman Temple, a worship place for the local Tamil community. Explore the grounds and wonder at the architecture and atmosphere. You'll be amazed by its carved handcraft woodwork, featuring a range of Hindu gods, depicting famous legends and gleaming gardens. This place will make you feel like you're in a dream. Kuala Lumpur street markets are for sure the best place for the first time visitors looking to experience authentic Malaysian culture. That's why we're moving to Chinatown and the Pataling street market. Here you can find everything from apparel to accessories to electronic goods. But the best thing to do here is to meet the charming vendors. Of course, food here is also a must. With plenty of Chinese hawker stalls, you can try things like clay pot chicken rice, satay, or some unique tastes such as uh, peanut pancakes. Hunting for handicrafts and souvenirs? Say no more and head to the Central Market or Pasar Semo. It's a shopping haven for handcrafts and if you're lucky, you will have the opportunity to meet the artists. We promise you'll find the perfect gift to take home. One of the best ways to discover the charm of the city is by meeting the locals and trying some local dishes. Sarah, who is a recipe developer and a cookbook writer, invited us to her home to show us how to cook a popular Malaysian dish. We're going to cook nasi lemak. It's coconut rice with sambal. It's a Malaysian national dish. Well, we, this dish we eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner or even supper. All day long is available. It's time to go to Sarah's family spice garden to collect crucial ingredients and start cooking. Following Sarah's mother's recipe, we'll make this fragrant rice dish, which also comes with roasted peanuts, crunchy and chewies, boiled egg and most importantly, the sweet spicy sambal. Take your cooking class up a notch and learn how to make a spicy fried chicken that goes deliciously well with nasi lemak. Believe us, it looks good, but it tastes even better. If you would like to find out more about cooking classes all around the world, visit withlocals.com where locals invite you to their home and show you how to cook popular dishes in their city. You can find the link in the description below. After spending an afternoon with Sarah, she told us about more places we should visit. She suggested going to the largest fresh produce market, Chow Kit. Open every day and where you can feel the real rhythm of the local life, at Chow Kit, 
You'll encounter friendly sellers that proudly show their products and very happy to give you samples of their exotic fruit. Now that you're in the neighborhood, to continue your authentic experience, why not visit a local village in the middle of the city with the backdrop of the city's modern skyscrapers. Discover Kampung Baru, a traditional style Malay neighborhood where you can spend the day strolling around wooden stilled homes, coconut and banana trees. After this experience, you'll get a real side of the local life in Kuala Lumpur. Let's go beyond the city! Just a short ride from Kuala Lumpur's city center stands a monument that seems to have been built by the gods themselves, the Batu Caves. The moment you arrive, you'll be welcomed by the biggest Lord Muragan statue in the world. Walk up 272 colorful steps and be prepared to see this, both a natural and man-made wonder. This hollow limestone tower has been around for 400 million years. The Batu Caves are one of the major pilgrimage sites for Hindus all around the world. However, this is a fascinating location to both religious and non-religious visitors. Want to cool down after your Baru Caves visit? Here is a local tip. Grab a taxi and visit the nearby Kanching waterfalls. At this 7 level waterfall you can climb up and swim and say hi to the monkeys. This is the ideal place for a picnic and for the adventurous it's a beautiful one hour hike through the lush jungle to the top of the spectacular falls. And we're back to the city! One of the best things about visiting Kuala Lumpur is that no matter what your age is, there's always fun things to do. In this case, if you're traveling with kids, we have the perfect place for you. The Petronas Towers. The tallest twin towers in the world are an icon of Kuala Lumpur and the perfect place to keep your family entertained. From the children's playground to even a public pool for the little ones. But the best of them all is Aquaria KLCC. The Oceanarium provides a fascinating tour of Malaysia's highland rivers, mangrove banks and deep blue aquatic life. And for the cherry on top to your family-friendly Petronas Towers visit, it's the fountain show after the sunset. Get ready to see the famous twin towers light up in a spectacular show that both seniors and youngsters will love. Kuala Lumpur is beautiful, there's no doubt about it, but if you are in Malaysia, you should also give yourself some time to do some exploring. We have few suggestions. How about a prehistoric jungle adventure? Tamanagara Rainforest Park is a piece of raw heaven, almost unchanged since the times of the dinosaurs. Ride along the rapids of Tembeling River towards Lake Berko Magnificent Cascades. On the way, admire riverside flora and fauna. Hike through the jungle and try to spot monkeys and rare birds who live inside the park. You can visit an aboriginal village and learn about their life. We promise it's the ultimate jungle experience near Kuala Lumpur. The multicultural traces in Kuala Lumpur spread even outside the city and reach all the way to the historic town of Malacca. With traces of British, Dutch and Portuguese influences, Malacca is a cultural gem. Once there, you can check out the Portuguese fortress, the oldest church in Malaysia and don't miss a boat ride through Malacca's river, where you can find many graffitis and hip cafes on its banks. The perfect getaway from Kuala Lumpur. Feeling a little bit hungry again? In Kuala Lumpur you can eat all day, every day. The city is packed with incredible street food stalls that even challenge some of the country's best high-end restaurants. With its Chinese, Malay and Indian cuisine influences, it's a foodie's paradise and it has something to offer for every craving. Let's ask the locals where to find the best places to eat. Okay, we are now in Jalan Alo. Jalan Alo is located within Bukit Bintang. One of the reasons most locals and uh, tourists choose this place as a 
dining place or a, or a food destination is because of the variety of food here. If you walk along this street, you're definitely bound to settle in one of the restaurants or stalls to eat because the smell gets to you and you just naturally get hungry. Well, in my KL city town, there's a lot of satay, but this is the steamboat satay. This satay is one of, one of my recommended things to eat while in Kuala Lumpur. To finish your trip with a bang, a night out is a must. After the sun goes down, Kuala Lumpur with its surreal lights transforms into a futuristic city. But where to go, Hakim? Guys, if you're looking for a great nightlife in Kuala Lumpur, come to Chinatown. I personally recommend you come over to PS150. You will have amazing cocktails and so much fun. Lumpur has a very vibrant, exciting nightlife. You've got bars all over the city, but what's special are the speakeasies. My favorite is Botak Bar, and this is where you come for the ambience as well as craft cocktail. There you have it, the top 10 things to do in Kuala Lumpur recommended by a local. Do you have any other suggestions? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, the best way to experience Kuala Lumpur is like a local and with a local. Don't forget to subscribe. Until the next one.